Well, will you take a look at this? Our finance status, it's okay now, we are still under, of course. We sold a player in the last few hours of the January transfer window to Ajaccio for 4 million. I used that money to increase the wage budget and I also decided to increase the scouting budget. Now we can scout worldwide and uh, I'm thinking maybe we can find some Brazilian wonder team. Hey, welcome back to Academica on FM24. It's not the youth intake day, not yet anyway. Don't worry, we're gonna take a look at that this episode. But I decided to come back for this important game against Braga. We sit fourth, nine points ahead of them. We're definitely gonna finish in a European spot because we are 14 points of Chavez. But we're in a good spot to qualify for the Europa League. Four points behind Benfica, who qualifies for the Champions League. Let's see. So first place qualifies straight to the league phase of the Champions League, second place to the third qualifying round of the Champions League, third place to the league phase of the Europa League, fourth place to the Europa League, but probably a qualifying round, and fifth place, that's where Braga sit, third qualifying round of the Conference League. But that all depends on who wins the cup. So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the cup. Holy shit, Sporting Covilla made it all the way to the semi-finals, but of course they got destroyed by Porto. So if either of these three clubs wins uh, the cup, if we finish fourth, we're going to qualify for the Europa League. So did you guess the player that left us? It's Gonzalo Loreiro, one of our best players in this save. Left us to join Ajaccio for 4 million. We also managed to sell Eder Balanta to Once Caldas in Colombia. For 27k. Of course, I needed to replace Loreiro and I've signed Will Fish, a 23 year old English wide center back, a right footed one. Yes, and he looks pretty decent. So, since the last time you were with me, our form was decent enough to keep us on fourth place. We've won 4 0 away at Santa Clara, Morer and Wendell with a hat trick, a spectacular 4 3 home victory against Vaisel, Wendell and Kitala with a hat trick. We lost uh, in the fifth round of the cup away at Porto 3-0. We lost in the league away at Sporting 2-0. Another spectacular 4-3 win away at Estoril Praia, the team that we've managed to beat 8-0 in the start of the season. Fumagalli with a brace, Samuels and Town Longo. A 3-2 victory home against Sporting, Wendell, Kitala and Magoma. A 2-1 victory against Chavez, Town Longa and a late goal from Danny Maurer. A 4-2 victory away at Aruka, Kitala, Wendell, Magoma and McHand. 2-0 against Farense, Fumagalli and Wendell from a penalty. We lost away at Benfica 2-0, a goalless draw home against VTSC. And a surprising 2-1 victory away at Boavista Porto, Wendell and Stitch. Like I said, we're going to start the episode with a home game against Braga. We're going to play away at Porto and we're going to finish with this home game against Pamalisao. And I believe after this match, we're going to get our youth intake day. So against Braga, we're going to go with what I think it is our best 11. Vettorel, Valenti, Winther, Fish, Sacek, Tanlongo, Samuels, Magoma, Folha, Wendell and Kitala. Well, we are having a really, really boring game. 40 minutes has passed. We are in control though, but no highlights at all in this first half. Unbelievable. What do I tell them? I'm happy, I guess, because we created a few chances, even though we didn't get a single highlight. We are definitely the better team here. I hope we don't get FM'd. Don't tell me we're going to go through the entire match without a single highlight. This is embarrassing. Yeah, let's make some substitutions. 25 minutes remaining. McHand comes in for Folha. Let's bring in, uh, where are you, Fumagali for uh, Kitala and switch him around with Wendell. That's all. Our first highlight after 73 minutes. And it's their highlight and it's their goal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, man. I was afraid of this. I was really afraid of this. We were definitely the better team and this shit happened. My word, let's make some other substitutions. I'm gonna bring in Galeano for Wendell, who's really tired. Where are you? Stitch for Samuels and I guess Motor for Sidecheck. Oh, we got another highlight now. Come on, boys, let's get the ball back. 
we deserve at least a point here because I'm afraid we're gonna lose away at Porto and if Braga wins that next match we're gonna be three points behind us good job Galeano here's Winter Galeano now that's a lovely ball to McHand McHand come on yes mate 1-1 one, one. let's go we're in the last minute of regular time we got another highlight a stupid mistake there and can we get the ball back yes uh, Stitch does well Valenti calm down Jesus Christ and Longo to Mukhand. you had space dude Magoma Mukhand again Mukhand nicely done good dribble Mukhand oh my word he came in and turned this match on its head come on dude oh this is massive this is massive and brilliant from Mukhand here yeah he got past his opponent like he was nothing i question the goalkeeper's positioning there but we deserved it too seven shots on target compared to only two for braga galeano 7.6 rating for him great job dude yeah of course mchand it's the man of the match where well, we're gonna have to play this game away at the best team in the league with the 17 year old gracia in goal because veteral is out injured the rest of the squad stays the same yeah, porto are unbeaten they have nine points ahead of sporting who sits second now because benfica lost the game yeah we're gonna get spanked hopefully we won't embarrass ourselves samuels to valenti for our first highlight five minutes in this game Paul Hub. nicely done Sacek, wendell magoma nice passing there magoma magoma takes his shot over the far i believe Sacek is one of the best right backs in the league right now maybe porto has one better than us he's been amazing all season so was uh, our goalkeeper and valenti as well we were lucky enough to sign this uh, check right back Gakpo takes a corner now for uh, fc porto gracia collects the ball great job kid maybe the porto team is complacent fish told the players there is no pressure of course here's a side check loses the ball though Gakpo, Cody Gakpo, Gakpo, oh that was lovely, that was lovely from Cody Gakpo, 1-0 down after 35 minutes, Gakpo takes a corner now, over the bar, well we didn't embarrass ourselves, at least uh, not yet, there's still the second half, we had uh, a couple of chances, we didn't score, you've been unlucky boys, another opportunity for Porto maybe just a few seconds into the second half Gakpo oh what a huge opportunity how the hell did he miss that Magoma to Konak I'm gonna bring in my hand again after this corner taken by Cody Gakpo great job Gracia oh what a lovely goal Barish Alper Ilmaz what a lovely goal yeah let's make some substitutions Magoma to Konak so my hand is coming in and I'm gonna switch him with Paul Ha. And uh, let's bring uh, Fumagali for Kitala, switch him with Wendell. I'm gonna bring in Stitch as well. And you know what? Antonio Gomez for Tan Longo. Side check with a throw in my hand. Can we score a goal, boys? Gomez to Paul Ha. Stitch. Come on, Stitch. Valenti. Valenti. Oh, nicely done. Valenti with a shot. Okay. Let's bring in Danny Maurer for uh, Sacek, who's retired. Yeah, Sacek didn't really have such a good game. Well, it's a way at Porto. Hey, we created a few chances. We had four shots on target. We didn't get smashed here by Porto. So, yeah, it wasn't that bad. You did yourselves proud today, boys. All right, so the youth in day, day came a little bit early than I expected. It's before the last match of the episode. We have two elite talents and a few top talents. Okay, our head of youth thinks uh, this guy is uh, the best of the bunch. Let's start with the top talents, of course. Helio Almeida, a central defender, Portuguese central defender. Low determination and shit, not good enough. We have a Chinese complete wing back. Please be good. Wang Jawi, please be good decent fairly professional decent physicals actually great physicals for a 15 year old not that great technically he's brave i'll give him that 
determined. I like that. Yeah, of course, he's going to get the contract. He's Chinese. An inverted wing back on the left, Thiago Suarez. No determination again. Okay. A French pressing forward, Marc Lejeune. Good physicals. He's aggressive. He has good work rate and that's about it. Let's see the target forward, Paolo Victoriano. Having 11 jumping reach, only 9. Low determination. Come on, dude. Dude. First touch is decent. Technique 12. No, I'm a little bit disappointed, to tell you the truth. And Dario Moreira, the left winger, left footed, decent physicals. He's determined, balanced personality, dribbling 14, technique 14. Not bad. Yeah, I'm not too happy with, with what we got. Low determination for a few players. Our head of youth was decent. He's the one that we always had. So I guess I'll be looking to sign a new one. I think we can afford a better one. Right, it's the last match of the episode. Home against Family Sao, who's it 14th. With a win today, we're gonna be four points behind Benfica. We're looking up from now on. We don't care what Braga and Chavez are doing. Maybe we can catch up to one of these two. Who knows? Imagine if we actually finish second. Vettorel is back in goal. Valenti, Winther, Pish, Sacek, Gomez because uh, Tanlongo is now out injured. Samuels, Magoma, Volha, Wendell and Kitala. Here's Valenti 25 minutes into the game. Gomez. Gomez developed really well uh, this season. A good shot there from Samuels. We got a corner. Yeah, like I said, uh, Gomez developed uh, really well. Next season, uh, he's going to play a big part of this squad. Fish. Kitala. Fish again. Wendell. That was offside. And that's the end of the highlight. 72% possession. Free shots on target. Side check takes a corner. Side check. Magoma was there, Kitala, back to Sacek, Wendell, shoot dude, Winther, nicely done, Gomez. You come on kid, just when we were talking about him, yes, the 17 year old scores, lovely goal, a lovely, lovely, lovely goal, it's his first ever goal for uh, Academica, I actually forgot about that, didn't really think about it, but he scored a beautiful goal, great job, he's only 17. Here's Valenti, Samuels, 46 uh, minutes on the clock. Samuels, a decent cross. Valenti, Gomez, back to Valenti. He's moving forward. Magoma, Wendell, Wendell. Missed the target though. It's been a while since Wendell scored a goal. I think uh, three or four matches. Play for set pieces, sure. But now we have a dangerous free kick for it's 1-1. It was a well-taken free kick, let's be honest. I think our goalkeeper should have done better, though. Here's Gomez. Three minutes in the second half. What a lovely ball from Gomez. Finally, Wendell scores his 16th goal of the season. Let's see if uh, Kitala was offside. I think he was onside. Yeah, it's 2-1. What a lovely ball here from uh, Gomez. He is natural as a deep-lying playmaker. Not as a ball-winning midfielder as I'm using him. But he's playing all right. Winther does well. Here's Wendell. A chance for a counter-attack maybe. No. We count down the ball. Here's the Samuels. Accelerating here. Good ball to Kitala. Squared it again to Wendell. And it's 3-1. A brace for Wendell today. Okay, lots of highlights uh, in the beginning of the second half. Here's the Samuels again. Back to Valenti. Magoma. Magoban was really good uh, this season. A good signing. We got lucky with some of them. Like Valenti, Magoma, Sacek was amazing. Wendell. Here's a Winther. Winther was all right. I was expecting a little bit more from him. Samuels. Kitala! He was offside. He seemed uh, offside to me. A decent player, Kitala, as well. So is the target forward, the Fumagali. But Wendell was a little bit better than both of them. Gomez to Kitala. Lovely ball here on the left to Samuels. Samuels squared it to Kitala. And it's 4-1. Kitala probably the man of the match with two assists and one goal. 
the goal will stand. Surely the goal will stand. Yes, it's Paul 1. Right, 20 minutes remaining. Let's bring in uh, McHan for Polha, Danny Motor for Sacek, just to give Sacek some rest, and Stitch for uh, Sammy Wells. 9.9 .9 rating for uh, Kitala. Can we get a 10, please? Oh my word, we're in stoppage time and our best player on the pitch just got injured. Yeah, let's bring in Galeano. And we're done. A decent victory for one. Well done, boys. Kitala, the best performer on the pitch, of course. So now we sit uh, four points behind Benfica in Sporting and 12 points ahead of fifth place with just six more matches remaining. So here's the remaining pictures. Away at Rio Ave, who sit seventh. Away at Morerense, 8th, away at PTM, 14th, away at Viseu, 17th, and home against Gil Vicente and Santa Clara. Right, next episode I'll be back for the last two games of the season. We're probably gonna finish 4th, I believe we're not gonna win away at Rio Ave or Morerense, and we won't be catching up to either Benfica or Sporting, or at least I don't think so. Until next time, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. I'll see you guys for the next one.